Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys what I have changed in my life and my skincare routine to get rid of most of my texture and make my skin way more glowy and dewy and hydrated. So if you want to see how I get smoother, glowier, dewier looking skin, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button right at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. Alright guys, so there are several different things that I'm going to be discussing in this video that are not just solely about my skincare routine. I'm also going to be showing you guys a range of products, and I mean a large range. But I don't always use them every single day, but these are the products I have been using, and they have really, like, dramatically cleared up my skin. I do want to start by saying I am not a professional, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not an esthetician, I am not a makeup artist, I am not in any way, shape, or form, I don't even work at like a beauty store. I do not sell skincare items, none of that. So, what I'm going to tell you is my personal opinion. It worked for me, it may not work for you. Just make sure you either see a dermatologist or some kind of specialist if you're having issues. And also, what might work for you may not work for me. What might work for me may not work for you. So, the first thing that I changed is my diet. I know that that is a big thing for some people. And a lot of people are like, okay, well, I don't want to have to do that. I just want to buy a miracle product and put it on my skin and then boom, it's clear and beautiful. Um, but honestly, it just, I was one of those people. I thought like if I just kept buying more and more expensive products and keep putting them on my face that I would just wake up with clear, beautiful skin. And unfortunately it would happen, but then my skin would revert right back to its bumpy texture, dry self. And it just really didn't get any better. It was kind of like an up and down roller coaster. Fast forward, I have cut out gluten. I have cut out meat except for seafood. I do eat seafood and dairy products. So it was a pretty big jump um, for me. But I will honestly say I've been doing it for about a month now and maybe a little bit over a month and my skin and my body have never felt better. So it's actually cleared up my skin quite a bit. I didn't really believe that my diet could change my skin, but it really did. Like 110%, um, even if I didn't use skincare, which I think is crazy, you should take care of your skin, um, I do highly, highly suggest maybe looking and doing some research into your skin and how those changes in your diets could benefit you. Gluten-free may not be a thing that helps your skin. It may not be something that's irritating your skin. Um, I do drink a lot of water now, a lot of water. Now I do have some days where I'll be like, okay, I really want this and I have it, but my body will know and I will know that I've made a boo-boo because my skin will go crazy. But let's get into why we're really here, um, the skincare products I use, but I did have to disclose that to you guys that it was not just skincare that saved my skin, it was also changing my diet. So please, I urge you to research for yourself. Um, I know that if you're seeing a specialist, I'm sure they're helping you a lot, but I still encourage you to research it for yourself. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna show you the tools that I use. So I use the Clarisonic and this is the Mia Prima. It was $99 from Sephora. It's just the regular brush and I only use this two to three times a day because it can actually make your skin worse. It did actually make my skin worse the first one to two times that I tried using it, but I love it. So I was sent this product for review and I actually really like it. This is the a Willoughby um, blackhead remover for your nose and your face. Basically, it is suction. It also has light therapy and it suctions and you just kind of go down your nose. So I don't use this every day either. I do maybe once to twice a week as well. I also shave my face. <laughs> so I have been shaving my face for a very long time. It became very trendy and it was kind of like, oh, now it's trendy, but had I said it before it was trendy, then I'd be a freak because I shaved my face. But I have been doing that for a very long time and I try not to do it too often, maybe once a month so I don't irritate my skin because you can irritate your skin by doing that. So just please be mindful of what your skin can take and cannot take. 
So the next thing is kind of really silly, um, or I thought it was really silly. When I got it, I bought it from BoxyCharm and, and one of their pop-ups, and I actually do use it nightly. It is a face massager, and I just go like this, and then I also do some of this, and on my chin, just to kind of tighten the skin up a little bit, and it's really cold, it stays really cold, so it's a nice cooling feeling. You can do it with moisturizer, or you can do it by itself. Just make sure you have all your makeup off before you do it. So the two types of things that I remove my makeup with are either these circle face wipe, or face pads, they're reusable and then they also have smaller ones I got these from Amazon they're just like face halo or halo face or something but they were much cheaper and I got way more I think I got like 19 of them total um, and then I also use the makeup eraser I have talked about this on my channel before I have talked about them on my Instagram I'm a big fan of them because one they help the planet. Like, anything that helps the planet is a plus for me. Um, makeup wipes are really wasteful and really bad for your skin and you shouldn't be using them. So if you are using them, please stop. <laughs> so, and they don't really clear your skin as much as it should. And they're not as cute as this. Like, this is so cute. I haven't used this one yet. I have several um, that are actually unopened. But I do really like how soft they are. I like that they're reusable and you get a lot out of one. I don't have a specific order I'm doing these in. I'm just going to grab them from the pile and tell you what I use it for. Because I'm not doing like a, my nighttime routine. I'm just showing you what I've used. So one of the products that actually has really, really 110% million percent helped me and I didn't think it was helping me because I did it wrong, is Nizarol. It is the anti-dandruff shampoo. So I do have issues with fungal acne. Um, and this I put on as a face mask about twice a week. I was doing it every single night and in the morning because I read online that for like the first week you're supposed to go like ham. It literally gave me like burns chemical burns on my skin to where my whole skin like peeled off but I will tell you after it peeled off my skin was like baby smooth the bumps were gone I do not recommend that take it easy one to two nights a week once you use it for a while you can go up to three but I wouldn't recommend any more than three and I do recommend doing it at nighttime I put it on for 15 minutes and then I just wash it off so if I go in with these I will use a water makeup remover I don't know what the actual name of this type of water is micellar y'all know what I'm talking about I use this one and the Garnier one and I really enjoy it but I try not to have to use these because sometimes they can contain oil and oil does not do very good on my skin I've learned that oil a lot of oil and coconut can trigger my um, bumps to come back up so I have actually shifted in my skincare trying to remove a lot of that mess out of there so the two cleansers that I'm currently sticking to right now, my favorite is Pharmacy Clean B. It's an ultra, ultra gentle face cleanser. Meh. Um, it just has a lot of natural products in it. It's very clean. It is a clean beauty product. Sold at Sephora and I really enjoy it. I love the way it smells. I love the way it feels. I don't ever feel stripped or just gross or dried out. A lot of face washes do that to me because I do have dry skin. So I really do like it a lot. And it also has honey so it kind of is more calming on my skin. And I like how it feels. I'm actually almost out. I need to get another one. I bought way too many of these. So another one that I have recently tried is the Juice Beauty, the organic solution. Um, it's a green apple brightening gel cleanser and I really, really enjoy this one. This one is a bit pricey. I got it from Ulta, uh, but I do really like it and I do feel like it brightens my skin a lot. So if I feel like I'm having a lot of dullness or and days or weeks where my skin is not as bright or shiny as I would like it to be or glowy I do go in with this product and it is really really good but I try not to use too much of it because sometimes it can be a little drying if you use it too too much okay so the two toners that I am currently using I use the pixie skin treats um glow tonic I use that one for the morning I accidentally got the vitamin c tonic out of my drawer not the glow tonic but this is not the one that I use I use the glow tonic one from pixie it's literally similar in color but it's so nice it has glycolic acid in it it feels nice I can feel it 
just making my skin look so glowy and dewy. And then at nighttime, I do use the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% solution. And this is fairly inexpensive. This is actually my second bottle of it. And I also get it from Ulta. I use this one at nighttime after I double cleanse and exfoliate. Okay, so some of the things that I use throughout the week, um, daytime, nighttime kind of thing for exfoliating. I use the Ole Hendrickson Fat Glow Facial. This has PHAs and Nordic Birch Sap in it. And I only use this one one to two times a week. It is expensive. I believe this cost me $58. Um, but when I tell you it makes a big difference in my skin, like it makes a big difference. So I will not use it on the same nights that I use this. It is a mask, so just be careful. But it is also a chemical exfoliant. So then I go in with a lip scrub. I do this every night. Um, if I don't do it at nighttime, I will do it in the morning, but I only do it once a day, not morning and night. And this is just the ColourPop one. I have several. So some older, other exfoliating okay. items that I use. So this is the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. I actually use these every day in the morning before I put anything else on my skin after rinsing my face just to give it like a fresh like any kind of dead skin cells that might be there just kind of wipe them away and just have a nice clear smooth base to put my stuff on my stuff on my moisturizer on um, and I really love how they make me feel they don't tingle they don't burn nothing so I really enjoy these a lot I did get them from BoxyCharm um, when I had BoxyCharm and I enjoyed them <laughs> So the next item is actually fairly new to me. It's the Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub from Wishful. Now, I don't know. I know this is a pineapple enzyme and papaya enzyme, AHA, BHA exfoliant. Um, I dropped the product. However, um, I don't feel like it does a lot of... I don't want to say like physical getting the um, like skin cells or dry skin off my face but I really really do feel like this brightens the crap out of my skin and I use it maybe less than just like a couple times a month um, when I really want to give myself like a stripped down glow just a brighter skin surface I really really enjoy this product it is a smaller one but it's lasting me quite a bit because like I said I don't use it as often as I would like but I have so many different things that I love and I know this seems crazy and people are probably like, you shouldn't put all that on your skin. However, I've not had any issues. I've been doing this for a while and I've had no issues. It's actually done amazing things for my skin. So I promise you, if it were to give me issues, I would discontinue immediately. <laughs> Um, so the next thing that I will use probably once or twice a month, I don't use it very often, is the Ordinary AHA BHA Peeling Solution. So this is extremely, 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 extremely strong. Um, I put it on my face, I leave it there for 10 minutes, and it burns my skin. Now, I do get really good results with this. I do not get instant results with this. But I also get some irritation. That's why I only use it about once or twice a month to get me a really deep, just like chemical exfoliating in your face, like deep, deep, um, because it's very strong. So <laughs> I try not to use it very often. I know some people use it a couple times a week. Um, how they do that, I don't know. And I just think it's like really cool because it looks like I have a vial of blood. But you guys have seen the TikToks. You know how that goes down. All right, so we're gonna go to moisturizers and whatnot. So another thing that I think is absolutely awesome from The Ordinary is their AHA Acid 2% plus B5 um, serum. This stuff is amazing. So I put it on my face after I'm done all my cleansing and exfoliating. Before I put on my moisturizer, it does make my skin feel nice and tight, but it's almost like a barrier. So you're, the hydration that you have or the moisture that you have doesn't escape your skin, if that makes sense. That's the way I write it online. Uh, but at first I didn't think it was working because I was like, oh, this is kind of tight. Like, is it supposed to be this way? Looked into it and it actually is. And I have used this every single day. This is the second one. And I've had it for a while, so they last. And it's very inexpensive at Ulta. So just two moisturizers that I use. And I'm gonna show you one. And I know there's a lot of negativity around it. I don't really understand why. I guess the chemicals and fragrance and nye, 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 nye. But I have seen several, not specialists or dermatologists, people that are just like skincare 
gurus, I guess they're called. I don't really know. Um, I know that they have like a really negative reaction to this product, but I, when I tell you I love it, I absolutely love it. It is the It Confidence in a Cream, and it is this moisturizer right here. This, if you can tell, is the big size. So this one is huge compared to like the normal one that people get. This is the four fluid ounces. It was pretty pricey. And the reason that I have bought this over and over and over again is because it works on my skin. I've used it for quite a while and I've had no issues with it. And I do usually have issues or sensitivity to a lot of fragrance, but I'm telling you, I put this on my face at nighttime and in the morning and I just feel so glowy and so dewy. The next one is the Ordinary, and this is the Natural Moisturizing Factors with, a with HAs. Um, it has a hydration formula, and it's just this little handy-dandy moisturizer. Um, I will use this one during the day, usually, if I don't want too much, because this one will give me a thicker feeling, uh, where this one is a thinner moisturizer. So if I don't want to have that heavy, thick moisturizer on, depending on if I'm going out or what I'm doing, then I opt into this one, because it does feel really nice. It's very bland, it doesn't have a lot of chemicals in it, and it's very inexpensive. So the next item I find to be my number one most important step in my skincare, and it has changed my skin from dry like the desert to hydrated and wonderful. It is the, it's sunscreen. So I don't know what beauty sunscreens you guys have used. I've used Super Goop. I've used another really expensive one I don't remember. But this is the one that I've actually really come to enjoy. This is the Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide, SPF 30, Broad Spectrum, and I believe it is tinted. It's fragrance free. It's dermatologist tested. It's for sensitive skin. Either way, I put this on every single day. I don't care if I'm going outside or I'm not going outside just in case I ever go outside. Like in that day, this is your number one important item. If you have dry skin, stop and listen. You need sunscreen because the sun is drying your skin out. It is causing so much damage that you pay for all this skincare, you might as well just throw it all away. Because if you're not using sunscreen, you're damaging your skin to holy hell and you're wasting your money on skincare to make your skin look better because you're just frying it. So the last thing that I use on a regular basis is going to be the Pixie Skin Treats Retinol Eye Cream. I actually just recently got this and I've been using it. It's the only item I kept out of that whole PR because it's really nice. It's brightened my under eye a lot um, and I just like how it feels and how it makes the skin around my eyes feel. So the next items I have are about six items that I use on a very rare occasion, like once a month, maybe once every other month even, or just if I need them. So the two items that I use for the most part on a need basis is my actual coworker referred me to get this and it's at the drugstore for like three bucks. Um, acne treatment gel zaps it. If I get like a cystic acne pimple, because sometimes I will get them around here, um, I will put this on and literally within a day or two, it is gone. Um, I also have the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment. It is a spot treatment. Again, one of those things that if I have a pimple or acne, I put this on. So what I do is I will use things like this to just kind of spot treat, or I will put like a heating cloth on there to try to get the swelling and inflammation to go down. Okay, so the next things are just little fancy fancy treats that I like to do for my skin. So this one is the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with rose clay in it. Um, another coworker of mine actually recommended this to me. I use it every once in a while if I feel like I really need to get in there and just give my face a new redo, re-over, get rid of the texture. So, and this is one that you can get at Ulta and Sephora, I believe. So the next few things, um, if I want a deep hydration, I will use this Avant um, Shea Butter 8 Hour Radiance Renewal. So when I got this from BoxyCharm, I was like, this is really expensive because I think it's like $107 for something this size, um, which by the way is 1.69 fluid ounces. And I was like, this feels so nice, but then I felt like it was really oily to where it was causing my um, fungal acne to actually react to it. So I stopped using it altogether, and then I was like, okay, well, I'll just use it as 
like a mask, but just like as a special mask that I just use every once in a while. So if I start to feel super, super dry, um, then I will go to this and it does really feel nice, especially mixed with my hyaluronic acid. It feels so good. And in the morning, I'm just like so fresh and so hydrated. So, and the next two things, this one I actually use a little bit more than I would say so I probably should have put this in the other one. This is the CEO um, Sunday Riley CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. I probably use this way more often than I, I don't know why I had it in here. I guess it was just the last one I grabbed. But I actually use this probably three times a week if I remember. That's my biggest thing. Um, and I just use it to give me an overall brightening. If you notice, a lot of the stuff that I use is exfoliating, brightening, toning, smoothing like that's all I'm trying to do here oh and hydrating hydrating and the last special goodie that I use is the Cora Organics Nani Night AHA Resurfacing Serum so I got this from Trend Moods Volume 4 box um and I actually don't mind it at all it's just kind of strong I feel really really like tingling burning sensation with it so I don't use it very often but I will tell you, it was very nice. It wasn't super thick. It didn't leave my face feeling gross. And then the next day, it was really, really smooth. It's just a little bit too strong for me to use as often as I do. And I have so many other products that I use almost on a weekly routine that this one just kind of gets tossed to the side. So I only use this like every once in a while if I remember it. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna give myself a little treat. So that is it, guys. That is how I got my skin smooth. I got rid of most of my texture. It's not all gone. I still have imperfections on my skin. This is all of the stuff. I know it sounds like a lot. I know it's probably so overwhelming and minimalists are probably like, but it works for me. It has worked for me 110% and it's complicated. And at first I had to write it down because I didn't remember what did what and how it affected my skin and what I could mix with what because some of the stuff that you can't, you can mix or you can't mix. And it's insane. And it was hard work and it paid off. So just make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure you research before you go out and buy all of these products. And just remember that your skin will always, 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 always be different from anyone else's. So don't just watch on YouTube and be like, oh my God, I need to get that because we are not the same. So love your skin, take care of your skin because it will make your makeup look so flawless. And as always guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye.